This is a review of my NASB Reader's Reference Edition. It's a purple goatskin and it's a first edition from Allen's. And as usual, you get them in these boxes, they're all the same. They're blue, they're actually quite a nice box. They actually have like a little pattern on them, if you can see that. And here's the Bible. You have a nice spine. You have Holy Bible. New American Standard Bible. And then you have Allen's. This is purple and it's blue. Under silver. Such a nice colour color combination this is. As you can see. The print on this is around a 10. It's quite nice. It's the same block they use for the foundation from large print. And we'll go to the front. You have your three I have three purple ribbons with this. Very nice ribbons. And they're all put in they're put in straight. As you can see, nicely put in. The grain on this is quite nice, it's a nice pebbly sort of a grey. Not like so this is like pebbly looking. Not like my my long prime. You can see it's a bit more a bit more grain in this one. But you can see the difference with the purple and the black. Now this is one skate skin. You have one silver edge line. The corners on this is quite nice, as you can see. They're quite well done. I just wonder if I turn this light on, it makes a better difference. Seeing this. It's a bit wonky in this corner. I'm not gonna worry about that. And I've got these Bible I've got this Bible and the uh, long primer on the trade anyway. And it's a Allen's first edition by Royal Youngblood. So she is a first edition. There's the other corner. And that one there. It has a dark blue liner, and the end sheet is also a darker blue. And She's edge lined as they all are. You have the presentation pages and blank sheets at the front. Front page is a bit wrinkled there, but there's no big drama. There's no writing in this Bible. And there's the information on it. Scan down so that you can pause it at any time and read it if you wish. Right, we have the we have abbreviations and special markings in this Bible. So it gives you what they mean when you're looking at the footnotes and your contents as usual and Genesis 1. It's quite a nicely laid out Bible this. You've got plenty of plenty of room just trying to find a ruler. Here we go. So, so you have a good, uh, just well, just over half, well, three quarters of an inch on that side for if you want, to, if you wish to write notes. 
And it'll take about a quarter in the gutter because of the gutter goes down. So you don't have much at the bottom of the page, but you definitely have a lot at the sides that you could write some notes if you wish to write notes in your Bible. And this one, I like that the, all the footnotes are actually in your center column, which is quite good. So it takes away from them being down the bottom here. So if you're reading along and you're, oh, what's that? And then you go over to your center column and you can find your footnotes. I like this idea better. It's just there's no mucking around trying to find your footnotes. I'm trying to locate them and yeah, I like them in the center column. That's quite nice. This is quite, not a, quite a nice layout Bible, this one. You do have your subject headings all the way through this Bible, which is good. I wish the long primer had those subject headings. That would be good. But they don't have them. As you can see, I'll show you. Yeah, they don't have so they have your headings just up here. They just don't have your headings at the beginning of your paragraph of your of your chapter. Not all in the middle of your chapter as well, like in this one here. You have that in the middle of the chapter. Now, if I was looking at these two Bibles together, the long primer print is actually quite dark. This one is, is quite a few shades lighter. And I'd say the long primer is a little bit bigger in a little bit bigger in the in the text. Not by much, maybe about half a point. But it is bigger. The blue on this is quite nice. I do have like a little mark here on the blue. It looks like a little bit of a water spot or something that's got on there, but um, second hand. Very nice by all. The paper is a 36 GSM paper. And each each book starts on a new page. So if you have all this extra room if you wish to write notes. I don't, I don't intend writing notes in these two Bible in these Bibles. I have a I have a, a couple of wide margin Bibles here, so I'll use them. Well, couldn't bring myself to write in one of these. They're such a nice piece of work. It's nice to read out of at night time when you're sitting there in the chair, hey John. You've all that in Luke to write. It's not self-pronouncing. I think only the King James do self-pronouncing. It does have a concordance in this Bible. It's not a bad size concordance. There it is there. It's just your average size concordance for the NASB. For such a really nice Bible, they put these Lockman Foundation maps in it and I just, I do not like these maps. They look like cartoon, cartoon maps. I, I just, it spoils the Bible, I think. You only get a couple of them, you don't get that many. And then you've got your line pages as usual with all Allens at the back. And some cardstock as well. Uh, so she is, she is quite a nice Bible, well built. They do a nice job with these Bibles. It's got a tool, tool edging around it. Got two, two tool edgings actually, one here and one here. It's not quite a yak, but it's very close to it. Yeah, same at the top, very close to it. Same at the bottom. Very close. That blue is really nice. Blue under silver is quite nice. I mean, so, 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 I mean, so is the red, the red under gold. You know, I think if I had to pick between either one of them, I, I couldn't pick either one because they're just both two different, two both completely different bubbles and just both nice in their own ways. But this cover on this goat skin. Is a bit thicker than your Highland Goatskin one. 
but not by much, which is a bit thicker. And this one feels a bit tougher. It's a bit tougher than, than this one. But that purple is so nice. Let's see if I can get you a better shot. The purple. My uh, the ribbons. Well, that's my review of my NASB. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.